a couple articles here about the Los Salces murders. There were apparently the police, the Conejos County Police, Conejos County, Colorado, they go to some sort of disturbance. They go to this residence, and I see a picture here, and you got the truck, the Conejos County truck. This is on DenverPost.com. They just, the paywall just jumped right up in front of me, and now I don't have the article. So, okay, we'll have to read a different article. Well, maybe this one. Let's, okay. The alleged murder of one victim whose remains were found in a rural part of the San Luis Valley started as a drug buy, but quickly turned into a bloody stabbing and shooting in a conspiracy to hide the body, according to an arrest affidavit. Two more suspects were arrested Monday in connection to human remains being found in early November near Los Salces in Conejos County on the initial suspect arrested. All right, paywall again. Paywall again. You know, Denver Post, you're not going to get your message out there. But, you know, that's okay. That's okay. You have... KKTV 11 News. They reported it. There was some information six days ago. Two new arrests were announced in the San Luis Valley Human Remains case. Terrible name. It's the Los Salces murders. It's in the tiny little town of Los Salces Conejos. And they found three dead bodies. Myron Robert Martinez, a 38-year-old from Del Norte, he was found dead. Also, Shayla Hamill, a 24-year-old woman, they just found her remains. So who knows what they actually found of her and how long they had been. There was Julius Anthony Burroughs, 30 years old. They're in Alamosa County Detention Center, ACDC. So Julius Anthony Burroughs, 30 years of age, was arrested and charged with murder in the first degree and tampering with dead remains, and he's in there on a $250,000 bond in ACDC. You also had C.J. Walter Dominguez, 27-year-old, who was arrested for tampering with the dead body, accessory to a first degree murder, second degree kidnapping. And Adre Audre Burroughs, 26-year-old of Stanford, he was also arrested. Two more charges of, you know, accessory to first degree or first degree murder. There was two more charges that was added on to his case. So two new arrests an announced in the San Luis. This is uh, KKTV.com. C.J. Dominguez is on the left and. You just kind of see him with his eyes closed, and then on the right you got Julius Burroughs, and he's got like a, a a nose ring, and then he's got a lip ring. They look pretty young. The guy on the left looks like he's about, well, they said actually, didn't I say that? Yeah, he's 27. C.J. Dominguez is 27 years old, and Julius Burroughs is 30 years of age. They both are young men. They both are young men. So, Myron Martinez, apparently Myron Martinez, 38-year-old, he goes to buy some drugs. In what way is it, you know, marijuana, because the marijuana prices in the San Luis, you know, Valley um, smoke shops are fucking outrageous. And, um, yeah, I feel like marijuana is legal. But if it's other shit, because a lot of times marijuana is, because it's been illegal for such a long time, it's associated with all the fucking, you know, the meth and the crack and the heroin and the crocodile and devil's breath and what the fuck else is out there. They're doing something in Yemen. Where they're, they're smoking a different kind of something in Yemen. They're all doing it. They're all smoking it in Yemen. I don't know what it is. But anyways, Martinez of Del Norte was reported missing November 6th. Law enforcement came upon his remains a few days Later, while executing a search warrant for a theft suspect on a property near Los Salces. So, I was trying to, to describe the picture that I had saw. I've seen it several times. It was just the two police vehicles, the sheriff's, the Conejos County Sheriff's truck, and then you had the SUV of, I guess, the sheriff or maybe Anthony Toad or something. But it was a black SUV and a white, both looking sleek, pulled up to this pretty much a poor, run-down property. It had a house, um, you know, that looked like it was in decent shape, but then it had, like, a little side barn, which just looked like it was run down. So there was a theft suspect. Somebody stole something, 
So they had a warrant. They go to check to say, hey, you know, we got a warrant to for this theft suspect. And, oh, shit, what did we just find? And they said they, you know, the theft suspect was ultimately arrested for first-degree homicide following a nationwide manhunt. Adre Psycho Burroughs was arrested near the New Mexico-Arizona state line November 17th. So if he was around or did it, I guess he was trying to get the fuck up out of Dodge. Martinez was positively identified as one of the sets of human remains December 2020. According to arrest documents, Myron went to A.J. Burroughs. He went to the home of A.J. or Audre, I don't know, A.D.R.E. Audre Burroughs' home to get drugs. And then the arrest documents say that Burroughs told a witness to get a knife from the kitchen and turn on what he called his song. Ooh, I wonder what song that is. Those court documents say witnesses reported hearing Myron scream and saw Burroughs on top of him and say Burroughs later reportedly shot Myron. Arrest documents confirm experts found two sets of burnt human remains in the fire pit. Jesus. All the remains were in such poor state that it took a forensic anthropologist to make identifications. To date, only two of the three victims have been identified. Martinez and 34-year-old, I thought she was 24, but I had 34-year-old Shayla Hamill of Sawatch County, Sawatch City, and it's spelled S-A-G-U-A-C-H-E, which is ridiculous. Why would a G make a W sound? should be spelled S-A-W-A-T-C-H, Swatch. Anyways, Burroughs and Dominguez are currently only charged in the Martinez case. Burroughs of Alamosa faces charges of first-degree murder and tampering with deceased human reign. Remains Dominguez, also of Alamosa, is charged with tampering, second-degree kidnapping, and accessory to first-degree murder. Both men are being held in ACDC. Andre Burroughs, the primary suspect in the case, faces two additional murder, first degree, okay, he was the one, okay, so I guess he was the main one, and then now he's got two, I guess they arrested him for something else, and then for the one murder, and now he's got three first degree murder charges and two additional tampering charges for Martinez and Hamill's death, the CBI, Colorado Bureau of Investigation, announced Tuesday. He was already facing first-degree homicide, first-degree assault, and second-degree kidnapping charges. Thank you, KKTV, for being way better than Denver.com. Let's, uh, yeah, like I said, I want to read a couple of these things. So two arrested, second man with gang ties, three. Let's do this one. Colorado Springs Gazette, brutal details and murder of Alamosa woman. Revealed an arrest affidavit, December 29th, 2020, Carol McKinley, Gazette.com. Arrest records unsealed by an Alamosa County judge last week revealed brutal details in the murder of an Alamosa woman who has been missing since early September. The affidavit unsealed by Alamosa Judge Michael Gonzalez show 19-year-old Selena Esquibel was kidnapped after being hit in the head with a gun and then take it to a property in the southern San Luis Valley where she was shot and left in a hole. Oh, fuck. So I guess that's the three, right? You have 19-year-old Selena. And we got to say the names of the dead because to the earth they are still alive. What did Selena Esquibel, you know, do to anybody to deserve this? Myron Robert Martinez, what was he doing? Supporting a local small businessman and all of a sudden go get a knife and play his song? Well, how did that turn? That turned pretty quick, huh? Maybe he didn't have no drugs and he just wanted to rob dudes since he knew that he, you know, if he was there to buy drugs and he probably had some money on him. The affidavit, so, so yeah, Selena Esquibel. Selena Esquibel was kidnapped. There's a woman here, I don't know, she, you know, looks like a beautiful White woman, I mean, not, she got, you know, brown hair, little mascara on, nice smile, seems homeless. 
19-year-old Selena Esquibel, Esquibel kidnapped, hit in the head with a gun, taken to the property, shot, and thrown in a hole, left in the hole, all shot, so she wasn't dead. Investigators say Andre Psycho Burroughs later returned with a stolen tractor and covered the hole. And then I'm assuming she was shot and killed. Federal agents arrested Burroughs in Gallup, New Mexico on November 19th after a manhunt. Burroughs is in ACDC jail facing nine criminal charges, including first-degree murder and kidnapping, most of those related to Esquibel's disappearance. Okay, so that's what, the reason why they were chasing this Andre Psycho Burroughs, because you had the woman, right? Selena Esquibel goes missing. She's 19 years of age. And then they arrest him. I wonder who was the theft suspect. So Selena Esquibel, Myron, Robert Martinez, Shayla Hamill. Uh, I don't think they deserved it, but I, I don't know. The only way that you would deserve death is if you had killed somebody or you were threatening to kill somebody. So, to me it looks like they're victims. Myron Robert Martinez, Shayla Hamill, Selena Escobel. She got kidnapped for what, being pretty? Myron Robert Martinez got, you know, robbed for what? Supporting small business? Going up to a piece of shit criminal, you know, savage beast, monster fuck, Mr. No Conscience. It's so easy, I mean, just to be a wicked, evil person, just to go around hurting people. I feel like that would just be, you know, to be like on the Karate Kid, you have to, you know, you don't, you don't learn to fight to go bully people. You learn to fight to defend yourself and to defend others. Let's see, let's see, La Salces. So yeah, this is in La Salces, Conejos County, Southern Colorado, which is actually near the New Mexico-Colorado border. It's right next to Sanford. There's um, Pike, Zebulon Pike. It actually built a stockade right around there, too. And uh, this is, you know, 1800s or some shit for Thomas Jefferson. But he was the first one. You got, you know, Pike's Peak is named after Zebulon Pike. And Pike was able to make it to Canales County. And he actually, he built himself a fort. And the Spanish, you know, didn't, I think they were more enthralled by him. They arrested him because, you know, they're on orders to do so. But when they took him down to, you know, Mexico, it was just big fanfare. And it was a call celebrate. And then eventually he's released on his own recognizance. It's like, ah! Get out of here, you, because Zebulon Pike wasn't invading, just a small scouting party. But this is Mexican, this is Spanish territory, at least it was at the time. So, yeah, that's uh, Sanford. That's Sanford, and um, uh, that's in Conejos County, Sanford, Los Salces, Alamosas, right north of Conejos County, La Jara, Antonito is in Conejos County, Fox Creek is in. Conejos County, 17, so there's a major road that goes through there, um, from Alamosa, I guess you could go down to Taos, or, um, I don't know, Santa Fe, or something. Authorities identify one of three sets of remains found, this is ColoradoSun.com, the remains of Myron Robert Martinez, who would have turned 38 on November 15th, were found on a property. In Canales County, near the town of Sanford, it's in La Salces, like Salces, La Salces. Authorities on Saturday identified one of the three sets of human remains as a Del Norte man, Myron Mar Robert Martinez. He would have turned 38 on November 15. Found on a property in Canales County, near the town of Sanford. Martinez re was reported missing November 6, but hadn't been in contact with his family since October. Martinez was identified with the help of a forensic ontologist, ontologist, according to the CBI. Andre Jordan Burroughs, also known as Psycho, was arrested in connection with the remains discoveries. A discovery the 26-year-old is accused of first-degree murder, assault, and kidnapping was taken into custody after a manhunt 
A manhunt that ended in Gallup, New Mexico, police have declined to release details on the case or how they tied Burroughs to the remains. Citing the fact that a judge has sealed the case records, Burroughs has not been charged specifically in Martinez's death. Our authorities say they don't know how Martinez died, but they believe foul play was involved. The remains of two others have not been identified. Dangerous person of interest, nicknamed Psycho Arrested, abcnews.go.com. Andre Jordan Burroughs, this picture is on there. He goes by the name of Nick, uh, Psycho Julia Jacobo, November 19th, 2020. So this is one of the first one. He was, you know... So, yeah, they arrested him. The first set of remains were found after a search warrant was executed on one Your property. Choice, this is bad. It can be hard to see what? what's possible. Ah! The possibilities become clear with taunts. The first and only treatment of its kind offering a chance at 100% clear skin. With TALTS, up to 90% of those with moderate to severe psoriasis. After a search warrant was executed on a woman property in the town of La Salle, in the San Luis Valley on November 10th, Canaris County Sheriff Garth Crowther told reporters during a virtual media conference Wednesday the investigation then led to another property nearby where more remains were found said Monta Vista Police Chief George Dingfelder. Authorities arrested 26-year-old Audrey Jordan Burroughs, who goes by the nickname Psycho at a motel in Gallup, New Mexico. On Thursday afternoon, officials said Burroughs is facing charges in Colorado, first-degree homicide, first-degree assault, second-degree kidnapping. He's being held at McKinley County Detention Center in Gallup once the investigation became more extensive. A task force of five separate agencies, including the CBI was created on November 13th, Dean Felder said Wednesday prior to his arrest. Alamosa Police Chief Ken Anderson told reporters Burroughs should be considered armed and dangerous when asked by reporters how Burroughs was linked to the investigation prior to his arrest. Anderson said those details cannot be released. No further details were announced at the time his, his, of his arrest either, with the police saying that the warrant remains sealed. Forensic anthropologists have confirmed that the remains belong to three different individuals. Dean Felder said it's too early to know who they are since they were thrown in a fire pit. What's crazy, so Andre Burroughs, he's got all these tattoos all over his body and on his neck, and then he's got like clown, like these little triangles right underneath his eyes, and then it looks like he's got some sort of um, squiggly thing right over his eyebrow. He looks like he's got, you know, a, a nice, kind face. He looks like that, you know, with TLC, he could have been president or a lawyer or, you know, he could have been a doctor or anything, a small business owner, been a farmer, run his own, you know, been a family man. Instead, he's wearing the, the rosary, too. So, I guess he's a good Catholic. I don't know. I don't know. This is, um... They're saying he killed Selena Escobel. He's the main person who also, you know, probably killed Myron, or he killed Myron Robert Martinez, 38, and Shayla Hamill. And then I guess C.J. Walter Dominguez and Julius Anthony Burroughs, I, I guess they're going to turn state's witness. Burroughs is going to stay in jail. He's got to find a quarter million dollars, but I don't know. That might be possible. Who knows? And apparently this was out of Monta Vista. Monta Vista I mean, this, this is small town stuff, and it looks like, the, I don't know what gang they call themselves, but they look like gang members. Out of Monta Vista, it's a small town. It's kind of crazy. I guess when you have a ton of poverty and a lack of jobs, lack of opportunity, when justice is not ever present, and you don't have peace, you got anarchy, you got a broken system. And I'll just mention this last thing, the mafia, the reason why the mafia came about was because the police wouldn't, you know, do their damn jobs. The police wouldn't do their goddamn jobs. And so the mafia would say, you know, we'll do the police's jobs for them if you pay us. I wonder if there was warning signs. It seems like it took a long time. It took three deaths. How long ago were these people killed? Was it recently? 
I don't know. I got a lot. I got a lot of questions. Uh, I guess I'll read one more. One more article. Colorado authorities capture convicted felon nicknamed gang member associated with Conejos County. We'll do both of those. We'll do two more. Francisco Pancho Ramirez lived at one of the properties where two people's bodies were found in November. So, Francisco Pancho Ramirez, a 38-year-old man who was written a property where two people's bodies were found within jail facing possible state and federal charges. Francisco Ramirez, who officials said is a gang member, was arrested on the night of December 11th, 2020 in Pueblo. He's not been charged in connection to the Conejos County incident at this point. In November, two people's bodies were found. Investigators have identified a second set of human remains found on a property in southern Colorado last month. The body belongs to 34-year-old Shayla Ham from Swatch. She was reported missing November 28th. The Southern Colorado Law Enforcement Task Force is still working on her cause of death, but they say they suspect foul play. Three sets of remains were found in total on this piece of property. This happened earlier this month. Investigators identified one of them as Myron Martinez, who had been missing since October. Work continues to identify the third set of remains. Investigators identified this man. Myron Martinez looked like he had a nice face, too. A nicer face. The picture of this gangster is just like wearing a rosary. It's just me, guys. Maybe look like he'd take a selfie. And 26-year-old Jordan Barros as a suspect in the three deaths. He goes by the nickname Psycho, and he's been held on unrelated charges. As of now, police have not talked about a motive for the three deaths. The tattoo over his eyebrow looks like a name, and he goes by the name of Psycho. I think that kind of... Did somebody give him that, that nickname? Was it earned? Was he just going around? I mean, if he had to live up to that name... In November, two people's bodies were found at a property where Mirez was renting to own at 19086 County Road 27 in Sanford, Colorado, according to a federal complaint. A federal criminal complaint? Wow. The property is more than 130 driving miles southwest of Pueblo. Another body was found at an adjacent property in the Salces area of Conejos County. Andre Psycho Burroughs was arrested in relation to the crime in November, being held in ACDC on unrelated charges. He has also not been charged with the deaths of either of the now identified victims. And so, looks like he got a black eye, probably during the arrest. And he doesn't, you know, he's not doing his little, he looks sad, but he also looks like he's, he's checked out. And looked like he's checked out a long time ago. So, again, I don't know if those triangles are indicative, and then he's got the, you know, tattoo of a name right there, and then he's got all those tattoos that says, that say, looks like it says maybe Allah, Ayla, Aylel, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so we can't forget Shayla Hamill, Myron Robert Martinez, and Selena Esquibel. This is 9news.com. All these websites way better than Denver. Com. An informant told federal officials Ramirez, who is also known as Poncho, was an accessory to the murders, according to the complaint. The informant told investigators Ramirez tried concealing the murders by transporting the bodies in vehicles, cleaning murder scenes, and helping burn evidence, including rem human remains. <sighs> the informant said Ramirez drove around the San Luis Valley with the mutilated remains in his vehicle and a vehicle owned by Burroughs sometimes for days at a time. Why? The complaint states a federal agent with the ATF said he received information December 10th that Ramirez had drugs, a firearm, and was driving a white Ford Fusion car, the complaint says. The ATF agent knew Ramirez had at least one previous felony conviction and that Ramirez was not legally allowed to possess a firearm. The complaint says investigators tracked down Ramirez to an address in Pueblo. Pueblo police officers pulled over Ramirez in the Fusion on December 11th. The complaint states a search warrant was issued for the car. Officers found a Glock, two ammo, a Glock just like Lauren Boebert, two ammo magazines and suspected heroin <laughs> and heroin and methamphetamine in a hidden compartment. <laughs> suspected. It could just be 
you know, flour. They just hide flour in a hidden compartment behind the glove box and under the dashboard. The complaint says Ramirez was arrested on the state of Colorado charges that include possession of a Schedule II drug with intent to distribute special offender possession of a weapon by a previous offender. The federal criminal complaint charges Ramirez with possession of a firearm and furtherance of a drug trafficking crime. Ramirez is being held in the Pueblo County Detention Center under a $200,000 bond. So, I don't know who this guy is. I didn't hear this guy in the other articles. With the Adams County uh, Sheriff's Office, who gave me an update as to what happened here. Now, the focus of the investigation is on this rural area. That's where these two women were found and where that jeep was abandoned, as you mentioned, in pursuit. Uh, right this here, is this a different is a case. Behind me, uh, officers, they were looking in this area trying to find these women, and that's when they uh, were found just around this home that you can see that is behind police tape here. Uh, they're still questioning some people here. This so, RIP Myron, Robert Martinez, Shayla Hamill, and 19-year-old Selena Escobel. Peace.